Hi friends, in this video I am introducing a very useful AutoCAD plugin, Batch in Editor. This app will increase your drawing production. There are hundreds of powerful comments in this app and these comments can apply to multiple drawings. Batch in Editor available in Autodesk App Store. Please find the below link in this video description. To access Batch in Editor, go to Add-ins ribbon then click on batch in editor icon so here is the batch in editor and the right side the comment list you can see 107 comments powerful comments in this list uh, like uh, create drawing list dgn purge batch in dxf expert batch plot batch bind update attributes rename attribute tags etc i'll show you some of them in this video first we can create drawing list from multiple drawings so i, I can use attribute create drawing list so before that i can open one drawing from the list so here in this window you can see there are 13 drawings so i just opened the first drawing to get the attribute information so i'll select this drawing this time i can open read only because the program needs to open this drawing again okay so here you can see the attribute so here we have the attribute tag so by using this tag we will pull the information from this drawing not only this drawing all the other drawings from the folder okay so i can open the batch in editor so in this batch in editor the left side top you can see add files so by using this i can add drawings to to this window also if i want to just select one single folder and then it will add all the drawing from that folder so i can use for that this icon second icon and the third icon will add all the uh, drawings inside subfolders also and also again maybe you uh, import a different drawing from different uh, folders so later if you want to reuse the list you can export the list by using this one and also you can import for later sessions so for now i just click on this add file now i can select all the 13 drawings okay now you can see the path and file name version status and everything okay so from this right side command list we can select the comments what we need to apply to this drawing right now we are going to create a drawing list so i can select the attribute create drawing list just double click on it then i'll get this window block name if i know the block name i can type here or else by using this select from screen icon i can click on this and i can select the block so i select the block now i can add different column for the drawing list so for that i can click on this green add item so here just double click on the header zero then i can give the header title so for this i can give drawing number okay i can click on the down arrow mark from this list is automatically added all the tag name from this attribute block okay so for the drawing number i know the drawing number tag is dwg num so i can select that one then i can add next column and here in the header i can type drawing title you can do any format any order depends on your needs okay click again this down arrow so i can choose drawing title one and you can see here i have two lanes for drawing title maybe you have four or five so uh, on the down you can select the next drawing title tag so i can use drawing title 2 and in the excel sheet it will come in same line with a space and i can create one more column 
okay and header i can type uh, this i can give revision okay and the next one i can add date double click date and here i need to select the revision tag click on this arrow mark this is the revision tag and for the date date one okay and after this there is option to all layouts or model or selected layout only maybe the drawing inside the drawing there will be many layouts so if i choose this one i can apply i can take the information from all the layouts i have only one layout but anyway i can give this all layout and here i can choose where i want to save the excel file after exporting all the information so click on this three dots and here i can excel file so drawing list save apply close so after applying the comments came to here we can add multiple comments in same session but in this session i just continue with one comment uh, then later we can check with uh, multiple comments so we have added to the comment list here now we need to apply this to the drawing select everything in the drawing list the right button here and the option add comments to file also there is an option add comment and remove comment here we have the buttons for that okay then here in the setting we can save as this drawing or we can save the same place and we have option to change the unit drawing version we save in different version but now we are taking only the information from the drawing we are not modifying the drawing so i can choose do not save then uh, i can run batch and we are getting the confirmation it's saying you are not saving the drawing click ok now the process started and here in the stat status you can see done failed if a, any failed is came it will be listed here so you can see one drawing is completed and also all the log report you can see in this window now you can see the three drawings completed and remaining 11 also here you can see the progress bar in between if you want to stop maybe you forget to add something then you can stop and rerun again this process so we have two more drawings to complete and failed zero after completing everything the this status window will disappear yeah okay and here in the bad status you can see everything all the details so you can see total 14 drawings and processed 14 and error failed zero okay and also we can save this report and we can go to the csv file and check how it's done so here in this folder the drawing list csv file is created let me open this okay and here you can see drawing number drawing title revision and date everything is created and later if you want this in CAD you can just copy from here and paste special and as a AutoCAD object then you can convert this to AutoCAD object and create new drawing for drawing list also you can copy paste as a OLE object the next session we can check multiple comments to add multiple drawings so what we can do so here you can see the revision 0 so i can change this to revision a and here for information i can change to for construction and this revision a and i can change the date and the approved name after that i can uh, bind this drawing if you check the xrf you can see there are uh, some xrf so i can bind this xrf then i can purge the drawing then some of the drawing saves like this view and some of them like this view so to submitting some other organization we need to make everything proper so we have to use zoom extend to all the drawings so we, we can apply this command also in this uh, batch in editor so for access batch in editor go to add-ins then click on batch in editor and here we can add the drawings 
so all the drawings we can add click open and then we can find the comments from the comment list first we need to update attributes attribute update selected so double click on this one and this will from this block name you can type or we can select the select from screen button click here so this is our attribute block and after selecting this all the attributes loaded here so whatever the change we are doing we can select that's only so for example here revision we can give a and we can tick this box and here maybe we can type sp tick on this box then here I can type for construction and this revision I'm going to change a and the date I can give okay maybe this also I can change SP and tick on all the changed one revision for construction okay that's it then here you can change select all by using this button and clear all and also entire drawing there is option entire drawing or uh, all layouts so for now I can choose all layouts apply then close this window so you can see the comments is created here okay there is also option uh, attribute update title block double click on this one and here you can select the block then you can find and replace particular value maybe some particular date if you want to change you can play with this uh, window for now just close next we can bind the drawings okay XR of bind so this is the one double click and there is option bind or insert so I can choose bind then apply so comment added to the comment list close this window then after bind you can purge all so just there are different type of purge super purge purge dgn lanes type for now I can type purge all double click and I can select everything or remove some ticks for now select everything apply then close so after binding and purging we can add this zoom extends double click it's came then go to plot layout okay double click on it and you can also plot to the printer you can select the printer but now we are going to plot PDF there are different other options also and plot all layouts here in file name you can see use layout name as file name there are some other option also we can add drawing name plus something layout name this kind of things for now use layout name as file name any PDF having the same name it will overwrite if we are choosing this option and we need to import page setup file here in the previous session I have already added that's why this here so if I want to add page setup from different drawing I can click on import page then I can select the drawing then it will list all the page setup on the drawing so I can select whatever I want for now I can click cancel and if we are clicking this plot to drawing location all the PDF will be saved on the same drawing location where the drawings save same location it will save so if I remove this and also I have option to by clicking this three iPhone uh, I can choose different uh, location for now I can click on this tick mark then add to batch the command will be added to here you can see plot layout so that's it now now we can apply all these five commands to the drawing also there is option maybe you can skip purge for different drawing there are multiple options we have so for now I can apply all the commands into these drawings so first I can select all the drawing from here drawing list window then select all the comments from the comment list window then right button here add comments to file 
for later use if you want to save these comments with order you can do here list export and import you can save this by using this export option then later you can import for another session and here on the save status we can choose save in different folder okay then we can choose the saving path from this window so i can save this binder drawing folder click ok and here also we can save us in the lower versions okay now i can click on the run batch and here is the notification that we are saving in different folder so it's okay just click on okay now same as before it's processing we will get all the status information from this window how many are done and any failed and how many remaining and also we have the progress bar 13 drawings are completed and a yeah, one more remaining okay so all are completed and we can check the status here and this logo report we can save by click on this floppy disk button so here you can see 14 uh, files are completed and zero error and after completing the process we can click on the exit button and we can go to the folder so here you can see all the pdfs are created just open some of them and we can check it's completed or not so here the status updated and the approved name is sp updated and here it's updated for construction and the date is updated okay and we can check the binder drawings okay here it's binder drawing also we can check so everything is updated and we can check the xrf is there any xrf existing no all the xrf is binded so here in the batch in editor there are 107 comments you can check each one you can apply any comment and also if you have any doubts you can see here help button click on it and it will load the help file it's mentioned everything in detail here in this pdf so please find the installation link in this video description for the batch in editor thank you for watching this video if you have any questions about this batch in editor you can comment on this video and i'll respond to your question and please subscribe my channel thank you